Orioles hosting the White Sox, and the White Sox are plus 130 on the money line. The Orioles are minus 162. The over-under is nine runs. The White Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 146, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one. You win, and the Orioles laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 122, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by a minimum of two runs. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to first pitch tomorrow. So use a site like VegasInsider.com. It is totally free and allow you to compare all the casinos on all the sports books pricings in one place, whether you bet online or in person. Seas pitched once against the Orioles this year. Six innings, four runs, two of which were earned. They lost that game 8-4, to four, and he struck out five batters in that game. They are 2-3 and three in his last five starts. He's averaging four and a third innings pitched and 5.2 strikeouts per game in those games. And he's got an ERA of 4.2 in his last five starts. The over has hit in his last three. The over is 4-1 and one in his last five. Eight earned runs, six strikeouts, 96 pitches. Four earned runs, six strikeouts, one home run, 105 pitches. Two earned runs, seven strikeouts, 97 pitches. No earned runs, six strikeouts, 104 pitches. Seven earned runs, one strikeout, one home run, 79 pitches. He's lost his last two appearances against the Orioles, and he is one and two in his last three. The over hit in his last two. The over is two and one in his last three against the Orioles. Two earned runs, five strikeouts, 113 pitches. Four earned runs, four strikeouts, one home run, 93 pitches. One earned run, 13 strikeouts, one home run, 101 pitches. And that's between this year and last year. That's Cease against the Orioles. For the Orioles, Gibson has pitched once against them this year. Uh, five and a third, four runs, four earned. They lost that game seven to six in Chicago he sh in 10 innings. He struck out one batter in that game. They are 4-1 and one in his last five. He's averaging six innings pitched and 6.4 strikeouts per game in those games, and his ERA isn't much better. It's four. The under has hit in his last game, but the over is 3-2 and two in his last five. Three earned runs, eight strikeouts, one home run, 95 pitches. Four earned runs, six strikeouts, 95 pitches. Nine earned runs, four strikeouts, three home runs, 89 pitches. Three earned runs, nine strikeouts, one home run, 98 pitches. One earned run, five strikeouts, 97 pitches. And he's lost his three appearances against the Orioles or against the White Sox, be it as an Oriole or be it as um, a Ranger or a twin. Apparently, uh, the White Sox are his Achilles heel. Four earned runs, one strikeout, one home run, 96 pitches. One earned run, five strikeouts, 99 pitches. Five earned runs, four strikeouts, one home run, 99 pitches. And that's this year with the Orioles, two years ago with the uh, Rangers, and then four years ago with the Twins, losing 7-6, 2-1, and 6-4. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is on a two-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4. The Orioles are 7-3. The Orioles are on a three-game winning streak. The favorite is on a two-game winning streak. The favorite is 6-4 on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The over-under is 4-4-2, four, four, and, and the under-9 specifically is 5-3-2. The last three, the Orioles have won 9-3, 9 nothing, 8-4. Then they lost 7-6. That was with Gibson on the mound. And then they won 6-3. They are 4-1 and one against the White Sox so far this year. The White Sox are 4-6 and six in their last 10, 2-2 two and two in their last four, beating the A's 6-2 and 6-1, and then losing 9 nothing and 9-3 to the Orioles. And the Orioles, the over is 6-3 and 1 in their last 10 games. The Orioles are 8-2 and two in their last 10, 3-1 and one in their last 4, beating the Rockies 5-4, then losing to them 4-3, then beating the White Sox 9-0 at 9-3. The over is 6-3-1 and one in their last 10. To me, this is a catch-22 kind of game because obviously both of these pitchers are struggling against the other team, but I'm going to take the team that's hotter right now. I'm going to take the Orioles with the money line. I'm going to take the Orioles laying the runs, and I'm going over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.